today we're making egg drop soup. So if you're a fan of Chinese food and you love to eat a warm bowl of soup, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got a package of dumpling wrappers. You might know them better as pot sticker wrappers. You're supposed to use wonton wrappers, but this is all I've got. They're practically the same thing. If you can split them apart here, you can see they're fairly thin. And if you can just take out a good stack like this, set them on a cutting board, you can cut these nice thin strips. Now if you want to just make the soup only, you don't have to do this. But these are usually deep fried and served along with the egg drop soup. So now what we'll do is go ahead and take this pile and drop them in some hot oil, get them fried. And you want to separate them as soon as they go in so they don't stick and clump up together. And as soon as they turn this yellow golden color, you want to pull them out ASAP. Because once they start turning color, they'll darken quickly and they'll continue darkening even when you drop them on paper towels. And you can fry up a whole package of these in advance. As long as you keep them covered, they'll stay good for several days, much like a bag of chips. Now let's go ahead and start chopping up some fresh ginger. I've also already chopped up some carrot. I'm going to add some corn right out of the can. And some frozen peas. So as you can see, I just used what I got. Now to make egg ribbons, I put three raw eggs in a condiment container and I shake and mix it up here like this. And I'll show you how this works when the time comes. Now to thicken our soup, I'm gonna pour about a cup's worth of the broth we're gonna be using, and I'm gonna add cornstarch right to it. And it's a good idea to get your hand in there and stir it with your fingers till it's smooth. This will prevent lumps. Now in a hot pot on the stove, I'm gonna add just a drizzle of olive oil and drop that chopped ginger right in it. Stir this around for a second, let that aroma release. And before that ginger burns, you want to add your broth. This is chicken broth, by the way. Now for flavor, I'm going to add some soy sauce, a little bit of sugar, which is optional, by the way, some toasted sesame oil, some Mishu rice cooking wine, white pepper, Now just give all of those ingredients a good stir. Crank the heat up to high, get it up to a rolling boil, and then add the cornstarch mix. The soup will immediately start to thicken, and as soon as you notice that it is, start squeezing in those egg ribbons. The circular motion will keep them from clumping together, and as soon as they're cooked, they'll rise from the bottom to the top. And remember, it's important that your soup is boiling when you do this, otherwise it will not work right. As you can see, we've got perfect egg ribbons. And now we can go ahead and add our vegetables. Now turn the heat back down to medium. And cut up some firm cube slices of tofu. Also, some green onion. And here I've already added both of those to the soup. I swear I recorded it, but the take wasn't there during edit, but you can see it's in there. Now's a good time to taste it. Just a couple pinches of kosher salt and pepper should do. And I do add MSG. And so do Chinese restaurants, and so should you. It got a bad rap for the wrong reasons. But again, it's optional. And the longer this cooks, the better it tastes. Well, let's go ahead and ladle a couple scoops for you. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I like to fill the soup practically to the brim. That's how it's always served in the restaurants anyhow. But don't forget those little crispies and some fresh green onion. And there you have it. Egg drop soup right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.